Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we have something as you've seen in our picture that we posted on YouTube to uh, bring you guys to this video. Something new that we've been uh, wanting for a long time and um, we were fortunate enough to find this car uh, pretty far away. Um, we actually drove it home actually the beginning of this year, about April, April sometime. So um, didn't really post it. It's been sitting for a while and uh, we finally got to a point where I wanted to bring it live to everybody. And our plan behind this car, as you kind of saw in, again, in the picture that I posted, is um, something that I'd like to get my wife involved in on. So uh, without further delay, let's show you what we bought and then we'll talk about it some more. So uh, check it out. So what do you guys think? Um, it's a new to us. It's a 1997 SC300. Um, trust me, as much as I wanted, you know, my biggest thing was to try and find a Supra. But Supras are, as most of you guys know, impossible to find. Very expensive and uh, just not feasible right now in my lifestyle with everything else that I have going on. You know, trying to get the race car done. Um, two other cars I'm trying to build and now we got this um, I couldn't pass this up man you know back in the days I had a 1993 uh, Supra an NA Supra that uh, post a picture up right now that you guys could see it that I basically pretty much cry about almost all the time that I sold it like a dummy um, one of the dumbest things I ever did uh, you know just back in the days we never really realized how crazy super was gonna supers were gonna skyrocket in price and hard to find basically and i had a lot going on in my life back then where it just didn't make sense so now i'm at a point in my life where we figured we uh we'd get the next best thing and to me the sc you know i love it it's an awesome car it's comfortable it's big you know one of the drawbacks about the sc is that they're heavy but as far as classiness and comfort and the way this thing drives, man, it's amazing. You know, um, I got this from the original owner. You know, I was grateful enough to find it. And um, once I made a phone call, I found it actually on Auto Trader. 
spoke to the uh it's actually the son of the original owner that owned it and man he was a super super nice guy um kind of told him my plans with it and why i wanted it you know and uh he was super stoked that it was going to go to a good home and that that's really what he wanted you know everybody develops these attachments to cars and uh there's a long history behind them you know this was his father's car his his father actually passed away and um it was garage kept its entire life as you could see from the videos and even in the videos really don't do it the justice of what this car and the condition that it's actually in which again what drew me to it you know um to me lexus scs are very underrated um i would say 95 percent of them that you see out there whether they're on facebook marketplace or for sale they're all trashed i don't know why um, most people got these cars bought them cheap and just continue to uh just treat them like crap i guess so i think there's a i think they're very underrated like i said and um i can start to see that the prices of very clean sc300s are on the rise so i wanted to get into one before next thing you know you can't find anything clean and they all are trash which i don't want i basically wanted a car that i didn't mind paying a little bit more money for but it was a perfectly 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 maintained vehicle um there's nothing to do to this thing other than you know put the wheels that we want to put on it and uh and you know build the motor it is automatic it's not a five speed but but here's the big but as you guys saw in my clickbait picture um my plan is to get my wife to drive it so what i'm gonna do is uh get her in here to drive it that's gonna be the plan so there's gonna be a whole build up on her with the car her driving it her going to the racetrack for the first time she's never been down the racetrack so the plan is to go down the track the way the car is bone stock and then start to implement small changes so you know maybe we'll do like a cold air intake you know take it to the track see if it if it gets better you know obviously the first time she's going to take it she's not going to realize what she's doing because uh she doesn't know about the racetrack even though she's married to a guy that all he does is race cars but i figured what better way to get the family involved than purchase a car that we all like we all can enjoy and uh you know let my daughter start to see you know what we got going on and hopefully get her inspired to where she wants to get behind the wheel of something as well so that's my plan there's always uh some kind of logic behind the way i do things and this is why i'm doing it aside from the fact that i do love you know whether it's the sc or the uh two jz um after we sold the boat we really didn't have nothing here that uh we owned personally that was six cylinder two jz powered so this is another reason why I want to kind of create all of my own um, cars and my own footage just to have constant content, you know, like we have our 4AG started that's almost coming together. Um, we have our 80 Corolla with a 3TC powered um, turbo motor and then we're going to have our 74 Corolla that's going to be 3S NA powered. So there's a lot, a lot of projects I have that I plan on building along with my drag car um, that I'll update you guys on soon, you know, all the other cars as well. but. Yeah, I figured this will be cool to get her involved and to see her progress, you know, um, eventually I'll build the motor for it. You know, what we'll do is we'll put a turbo kit on this, let her go to the track, get a feel for that, you know, start at low boost, you know, five, six pounds, you know, and then just keep increasing power to where she gets comfortable and is not scared to drive the car. It's the best way to learn. It's the way that I learned. You know, back in the day, I started with a uh, my little starter that I have. I used to drive this thing to school every day. Actually, I had a, a 74 Corolla Peanut, everybody calls them. And that had a 12 to 1 motor in it. You know, it was fast car. It probably ran high 13s back in 1992, you know. And then from there, I went to my street starlet, um, all motor. It ran like 1340s. Then I went to a turbo motor with a Grand National Turbo uh never really raced that in the quarter mile i think i don't think so i know i took it to lakeland eighth of a mile i don't remember what it ran back then then we went to a to4 style turbo and that started used to run like 1040s pulling crazy wheelies I put a picture of that um and then yeah we just progressed from tens to nines to eights you know to high eights to mid eights to low eights to high sevens and it just progressively got faster you know so it's the way it's the best way to teach her understand the fundamentals of drag racing and um 
just really get her foot in the door plus it'll be cool content for everybody and again all the women that are out there that maybe want to race don't you know intimidated by racing but no reason to be intimidated so yeah um the car like i said man is immaculate uh, i don't know if you guys could see all the small details but everything 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 is perfectly in proper shape i mean the thing's got heated seats um we actually bought this thing in washington state and i drove it back home and uh put 40 look i'll show you exactly how many miles i don't know if you can see there but that's the mileage on it now and uh let's see how do i get to the trip here here we go that's how many miles i put on it since i bought it and drove it home from washington state so the car performed great um again dashes in perfect working order a lot of times in scs these needles go out but this thing is so well maintained man that it's it's totally flawless you know it's got the sunroof um all of the all of the lights work you know your reading lights that all works your sunroof is there um that all works you know everything i mean the car is just absolutely perfect man the interior is immaculate so i honestly could not be happier and i'm super excited to uh build this up um it stays garage kept as well and it's just a super clean car so just wanted to finally showcase this and uh next video we will put up that um we will be heading to the drag strip where she can finally take it down the track and uh go from there so hope you guys enjoyed it um not a supra but hey it's the next best thing to it and um again the quality and the classiness of these cars is just just amazing so take care guys i hope you liked it and um again i'm gonna try and drop videos every week and i got a lot of stuff coming up so stay tuned take care bye